All right, we're going to keep on talking about area of different polygons. And today we're just going to talk about area of regular polygons. Um, first of all, let's review real quickly. A regular polygon means that all sides and all angles are congruent. Okay. So all sides and all angles are congruent. In a regular polygon, we have some special segments. One of them is going to be a segment that goes from this point here. And this point is our center. And it goes to the midpoint of this. So these are going to be congruent. And it is perpendicular. And it's not a height or an altitude because it doesn't go all the way to the other side. It is what we call an apothem. Okay, it's an apothem. The other special segment we have goes from the center to a vertex, and we call that the radius. Because in all of these, if I was to draw a circle about them, the vertices would all hit the sides of the circle. So that would be our radius. The line that goes from the center to the side and is perpendicular is called the apothem. And then, of course, these would be the sides. Okay. So we're going to use what we know about triangles, and we're going to figure out what the angle measures are in these polygons. And let's go ahead and start. You notice I've got all my radii drawn in. Okay. And I have. All right. So we're going to take what we know about polygons. And we're going to figure out some angle measures. So this polygon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine sides. So let's start <laughs> with this one right here. So that means that I've got nine angles. And if I start here and go all the way around, that's 360 degrees. So the measure of angle one is going to be 360 divided by nine or 40 degrees. When I come down here to this other triangle, when I'm looking at 2, okay, notice that 1 is one whole angle that's made up where the sides are radii. Here, 2, my side is a radius and a potham, and it's going to be half this whole angle. Well, that whole angle is the same as angle 1, so it's going to be half of angle 1, so 40 degrees divided by 2, that angle is going to be 20 degrees. So now we know that angle 2 is 20 degrees. We've drawn a right triangle in here, so we know that this angle is right. So the measure of angle 3 is going to be 90, because 2 and 3 add up to 90, minus 20, and it's going to be 70 degrees. Okay. And this only works with regular polygons, and that's all we're going to be working with finding the area is of those of regular polygons. So now here I have a pentagon, one, two, three, four, five sides. So the measure of angle one is going to be 360 divided by five. Okay. And 360 divided by five is going to be 72 degrees. Okay, again, angle 2 is going to be half of that, so it's going to be 72 divided by 2, which is 36 degrees. And then 2 and 3 have to add up to 90, so the measure of angle 3 is going to be 90 minus 36, or 54 degrees. So now we're going to use all these facts that we know, and we're going to find the area of these polygons. Okay. 
first of all, if two figures are congruent, then their areas are equal. Okay, so that should make sense. If I've got two congruent triangles, say, I've got a right triangle with angles 3, 4, and 5, and I've got another right triangle with 3, 4, and 5, their areas are going to be the same. They're both going to be 1 half base of 3 times the height of 4, so they're going to be 6. Okay. Now, to find the area of a regular polygon, so this is an area of a regular polygon, it's going to be 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. Okay. Um, some teachers do that a little bit different. They say that the area of my polygon is going to be 1 half ban, because they think ban is easier to remember. And they would say that would be 1 half the base times the apothem times the number of sides. Okay. So, and the base would be if I have that pentagon or the uh, nonagon, the base would be basically a side. So a base would be a side. So really, it is just okay. the base times the number of sides is just the perimeter. So they are basically the same thing. All right. So let's find the area of a regular pentagon with an apothem of 4 and 9 tenths of an inch and sides of 7 and 12, or 7 and 2 tenths inches. All right, so I've got an apothem of 4 times 9. So my area of my pentagon is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. Okay, our perimeter... Our apothem is 4.9, so 1 half times 4 times 9. The perimeter of a pentagon has five sides, and the sides is 7 and 2 tenths of an inch. So if I multiply all of this together, I get 4.9 times 5 times 7.2 is, oops, I did plus 4.9 times 5.7 times... Five times 7.2 gives me 176 and 4 tenths. And if I divide that by 2, my area is 88 and 2 tenths square inches. Okay, again, it's appropriate to make sure that they're labeled correctly. So we, now we want to find the area of this regular polygon, and it looks kind of difficult because all we have is a side is 12 inches. But notice this is a uh, septagon, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So I'm going to draw my center here, and I'm going to draw on an apothem because I need that apothem. Okay. And I know that this side is 12, but I know that this little part from here to here is 6. And then if I drew in my radius, okay, there is either going to be six large angles. You could draw them all in, and I'm just going to sketch in green. The blue is kind of what we're working with. So in that, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those angles. So 360 divided by 6 is going to give me 60 degrees 
for one of these. So this is 60 degrees. But this little angle here is 30 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that triangle out because it makes sense to me so that I can look at some things that are labeled. So we said this was a 30 degree angle. We know that this was 12, 6 down here. Okay. And in order to find the area, I need the apothem, which is this side right here. Okay. Well, I've got a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, where this is the 60 degree angle. My short side is 6, which means my side opposite the 60 degree angle is 6 times the square root of 3. Okay. We could find, if we needed to, that this would be um, 12. Okay. So we're going to take a look at the formula. Area equals 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. Actually, let's do this one 1 half band. Okay. So my base is this whole side, which would be 12. Okay. So 1 half times 12 times the apothem, I'm going to put that in parentheses, of 6 root 3. And then the number of sides that I have is 6. And we're going to leave this in simplest radical form. So all I have to do is multiply the 12, the 6, the 6 and take half of that. So 12 times 6 times 6 is going to be 432, and half of that is 216. And then we just keep the square root. Okay. So this is 216 root 3 square inches. Let's move on to another example. This time we've got another heptagon. I don't know what the side is, but I do know that my apothem is five and a half root three inches. Okay. Again, this angle here is going to be 30 degrees. Six sides divided by 360 would give us the whole angle from here to here as 60 degrees, and then half of it would be 30. So this is going to be my 60, and this is going to be my 30. If I draw it out, okay, the height is 5, 5 root 3. This is 30. This is 60. Okay. I need to know this side right here because it's half the base. And all that is, is 5.5 .5 root 3 divided by root 3. So this side is 5.5. .5. So remember your 30, 60, 90 degree triangles. So that means my base, if this is 5.5, .5, this whole thing is 11. So if I do my formula, area equals one half ban. Okay, one half times the base of eleven, the apothem of five and a half root three, and the number of sides is going to be six. So if I multiply all that together, okay, eleven times five and a half times 6 is 363, divided by 2 is 181 and a half. And then remember our root 3 on the end. So this is 181 and 5 tenths root 3 square meters. All right, so to recap, a regular polygon has all sides and all angles congruent. Okay. A regular polygon, the area is one half 
van, the base, length of the base times the apothem times the number of sides, or one half the apothem times P, the perimeter. Right? Keeping in mind that any regular polygon, let's make this a regular polygon. Okay. This is my apothem. It's going to be right. This is my radius. And I can find the number, the measure of the angles by dividing by the number of sides. So if I was to take a look at this big long angle here, since it's a triangle, 360 divided by 3 is 120. And then this little angle in here will be my 60 degrees. Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.